here's your wrestling news for February 23rd, 2021. And your headlines for today include possible reason why Drew McIntyre lost the WWE title to The Miz at Elimination Chamber revealed. Bobby Lashley is finally moving out of the mid card on Raw. Bobby Lashley in line for huge WWE WrestleMania match. Superstar suffers broken tooth after Shayna Baszler's stiff kick on Raw. WWE title match set for Raw next week. Why WWE had to replace Keith Lee at Elimination Chamber. WWE confirms Rhea Ripley is coming to Raw. Five possible feuds in store for Rhea Ripley. Why Mick Foley is literally begging WWE. Jey Uso shows off injury after WWE Elimination Chamber. The Undertaker popped huge backstage after receiving Xavier Woods' incredible gift. Randy Orton coughs up a black tar-like substance. WWE legend is trending after it was aired. Samoa Joe on when he'll wrestle again for WWE. Ric Flair blamed John Moxley for drunken airport arrest and more. We're starting today with the new WWE Champion, The Miz, who ended Drew McIntyre's second reign with the title at 96 days. Despite being Mr. Money in the Bank, Miz's cash-in was a shock to fans, and on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer explained the reasoning behind this sudden title change. This is a transition to get somewhere. Whatever that is, I don't know. It may just be, I could see Drew getting it back at the pay-per-view, or he could get it back at Raw, you know? WWE's decision to book a title change during such a critical phase of the year has surprised many fans, and fans have been wondering what's next for both McIntyre and The Miz from here on. Meltzer went on to explain that there's different possibilities, saying that Drew could win the title on Raw, defend against Sheamus before facing Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, or McIntyre could defeat Miz at Fastlane, face Sheamus in April, and Lashley come after. Whatever the case, it seems McIntyre won't be waiting long until he's back in the title picture, but whether that happens at or before WrestleMania remains to be seen. One person fans can expect in the main event scene is Bobby Lashley, who has officially moved out of the mid-card on this week's show. In recent weeks, Lashley's aggression has picked up more and more, and though he lost the United States title at Elimination Chamber, he kept his momentum going by attacking Drew McIntyre. The fact that McIntyre didn't appear once on Raw only helps sell Lashley's vicious side, as he's clearly ready to be a main event level star. Facing Braun Strowman on this week's Raw, Lashley survived a running power slam and put away the former Universal Champion with a spear, and with a WWE title match set for next week, Lashley has never looked more natural than where he is now. Even if Lashley doesn't leave Raw next week with the WWE Championship, the future is looking bright for him, according to a report by WrestleVotes. According to their sources, WrestleMania 37 will belong to the Almighty, as it's being reported that in regards to the WWE Championship match this April, Lashley's name is on the card, but The Miz isn't. That certainly implies that Miz will lose the title between now and April 10th, and that loss may happen in just six days' time. On Raw, it was confirmed that The Miz will defend his WWE Championship against Lashley on next week's show, and Lashley even flattened Braun Strowman to ensure it's a singles match. Since his 2018 return, Lashley has never looked more dominant, and according to reports, things are only going to get better for him from now on. More from Raw as Charlotte Flair and Asuka lost to Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler last night, but The Empress lost more than that. As revealed on Raw Talk, Asuka lost a tooth during the match when a stiff kick by Baszler collided with the face of the Raw Women's Champion. Realizing she'd kicked harder than planned, Baszler checked on Asuka before continuing the match in what was a very tough night for the Raw Women's Champion. Now at Elimination Chamber, Keith Lee was meant to be in the US title triple threat match, but he never made it to the show. Instead, John Morrison took the Limitless One's place, and on Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer explained WWE's decision-making process behind this. Meltzer pointed out that had the US title match been a singles match between Riddle and Lashley, then there would have been no reason for Lashley to be involved in Miz's Money in the Bank cash-in, as the A-lister would have had a fresh Morrison by his side. With Morrison occupied with the US title triple threat, this paved the way for Lashley to be elevated into the WWE title picture, and the fact that he wasn't pinned in the US title triple threat match means he keeps his momentum. 
It's possible that Keith Lee would have won the US title had he appeared this Sunday, but the gold instead went to Riddle, and WWE were able to get the title off the Almighty without him having to take the pin. We're looking back at the 2021 Royal Rumble, as Rhea Ripley had her main roster call-up in the Women's Rumble match. Since then, it's been unclear which brand the Australian superstar will be on, though we now know that Ripley is coming to Monday nights. During Raw, a video segment said that Ripley is coming soon to the red brand, but didn't give a date for her debut as a Raw superstar. It's tradition that WWE calls up an NXT superstar on the Raw after WrestleMania, though we're not sure if WWE can wait that long before bringing her up. It's no secret that Mick Foley is a big fan of Ripley, and he's slightly nervous about what the future has in store. On Twitter, Foley told WWE not to mess around when coming to pushing Ripley, saying that the company should avoid their standard 50-50 booking. There's no shortage of names Ripley could feud with if WWE want to strap a rocket to her, such as Nia Jax, who's pinned both the SmackDown and Raw Women's Champions on consecutive nights. If Ripley joins as a heel, then facing a bona fide babyface like Naomi could be the plan, or perhaps a rematch with Charlotte Flair from last year. Speaking of reigniting feuds, fans will remember that it was Ripley who ended Shayna Baszler's NXT Women's Championship run, and the Australian could even be looking at challenging Raw Women's Champion Asuka when she debuts. Whatever the case, the sky's the limit for Ripley, and we'll have to see what WWE has in store when she eventually debuts on Raw. Last Sunday's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view was Jey Uso's second time inside the steel structure, and he didn't leave unscathed. Though he spent just 10 minutes inside, that was a very painful time, and on Instagram, Jay shared a photo of his foot with one toe heavily bruised. Uso eliminated two men during his short stint in this year's chamber match, and as his foot can prove, any amount of time in the colossal steel structure can open a superstar up to some very serious possible damage. If you've heard of Wrestler's Court, then you'll know that in WWE, it was The Undertaker who acted as the judge, presiding over cases of wrestlers who have a grievance with someone else. As revealed on the Last Ride docuseries, Xavier Woods even got the dead man an engraved gavel, and during his Monday mailbag, former referee Mike Chioda said how much it meant to the phenom. Xavier Woods popped Taker huge with that man. It was a pretty cool gift. I think Taker said something like, at one point, he was like, one of the coolest gifts anybody has ever given him. Now that he's retired, the Phenom probably won't be ruling on any more cases, but it's cool that he has a gavel ready if he's ever called upon for one last verdict. More from Raw as this week's show saw Randy Orton cough up a black substance that shocked the fans watching around the world, but the commentators not so much. Like many parts of Orton's supernatural feud with Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss, the commentary team has been silent, which WWE is trying to sell as a stunned reaction, though it doesn't come across this way. Usually these shocked expressions and reactions of the crowd would sell the moment, but without fans present, WWE has to depend on commentators to react, and they haven't lived up to their work. Being shocked silent may be something that works on occasion, but it's happened so often that it feels like the announcers are more bored at this supernatural presence than anything else. Reactions can make or break moments, and this week's silence to Randy Orton coughing up unidentified goo proved that in what was a disappointing moment during the three-hour show. Unlike the commentators, fans online did react to Orton coughing up the black goo, and many older fans were reminded of a certain WWE witch doctor. It seems that Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss borrowed a curse from Papa Shango, who caused the Ultimate Warrior to sweat black goo back in the day, and Shango's name even trended during Raw. We've still not seen Wyatt since TLC 2020, but if this curse is anything to go by, The Fiend is getting closer and closer to finally returning. It's been over a year since a serious injury cut Samoa Joe's in-ring career short, and in that time, the former NXT champion hasn't given up hope of a return. This week, the Raw commentator spoke to Rick Uchino of Sports Kita to discuss his injury and whether he'll ever be a wrestler again. He said, As far as the timetable, no. But I just want to reassure people that you know this point, WWE Medical is doing the best for my health and well-being and I'm appreciative of it, so we're taking our time. With it being a year since his last match and no return date in sight, it's very possible that Joe has had his last match. But even if that's the case, he seems more than happy sat at the Raw announcer's desk. One superstar fans can see compete on Raw is Charlotte Flair, who sent her father packing on this week's show. 
During a backstage segment, the Queen of All Eras demanded her father go home and refuted his claims that he just wants to make sure that the Raw Women's Division is in the spotlight. Charlotte said how she works every week to make sure people know her for being more than his daughter. And with Lacey Evans off TV due to her pregnancy, it seems like fans are losing the nature boy too. It wasn't too long ago that we reported that Flair was back full-time as an on-screen personality, but now, with Evans out of the question, it may be a while before we see her or the two-time Hall of Famer again. Ric Flair is a very interesting person to say the least, known for his styling and profiling, and it's no secret that he can also throw back his share of booze. When the Metro newspaper spoke to AEW's John Moxley, the former world champion spoke of a time when he and Flair had a few drinks too many, saying, Getting drunk with Ric Flair, he gets arrested at the airport and he's walking around telling people I got him arrested at the airport. I'm like, okay Rick, I wasn't twisting your arm to order double Bloody Marys at 2.30 in the morning. Moxley did say it's pretty cool that he was able to knock a few back with a legend like Ric Flair, but we're hoping that the Nature Boy doesn't blame us for any arrests if we're ever lucky enough to meet him. Over to SmackDown and at Elimination Chamber, Edge confirmed that he'll be challenging Roman Reigns for the Universal title at WrestleMania 37. Spearing the Tribal Chief after his successful title defense over Daniel Bryan, it wasn't long before these two started a war of words online. Promoting the upcoming match, Edge said, Rated R Superstar, Tribal Chief, Universal Championship, WrestleMania, Nuff said. Whilst Reigns responded saying post-match, the Hall of Famer will recognize him as his Tribal Chief. This is a match fans thought they'd never see just a few years ago, and we'll have to see who leaves Florida as Universal Champion this April. Now recently, AEW's Tony Khan said that his company was open to working with Vince McMahon's WWE, even begging the chairman of the board to meet him so that they can discuss business. John Moxley is one man who knows all about working with both companies, but he doesn't see a time when he'll be working AEW and WWE shows together. Speaking to Inside the Ropes, Moxley was asked about a WWE-AEW partnership and made his thoughts clear, saying, That would never happen. That's not even worth wasting my mental energy to, you know, I mean, if you want to fantasy book some cool sh**, like back in the day in magazines you used to always have like, Dream Match, Bill Goldberg vs. Steve Austin in 98, but that ain't gonna happen. Moxley added that though a big summit between AEW, WWE, and New Japan would be cool, he knows that won't happen. At this time, AEW has a working relationship with Impact, New Japan, and has featured stars from the NWA. But don't expect to see Drew McIntyre in Daly's place if Jon Moxley is to be believed. We've got some sad news from AEW now as Anna Jay is out of the AEW Women's Title Eliminator Tournament due to a very bad injury. According to AEW themselves, Anna Jay has suffered a shoulder injury and will be out of action from anywhere between six months to a year. It was also noted that Jay suffered the injury while training and will need to undergo surgery to repair the damage. Jay was supposed to face Dr. Britt Baker in the latest round of the tournament, but was replaced by Matty Rakowski, a protege of Thunder Rosa, and we at Slat Rock are sending our best wishes to Anna and hoping for a speedy recovery. And we're ending today with Raw, and after a few weeks away, Retribution's Reckoning returned to TV. Though she didn't compete, she accompanied Retribution as Mason T-Bar faced Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, and Woods, who had previously said he wants an intergender match against her, was especially pleased. Reckoning hasn't been seen since Mia Yim revealed that she'd tested positive and was forced to quarantine for a couple of weeks, and it's good to see she's back on TV. Yim kept busy in her time away as she got engaged to fellow Raw superstar Keith Lee, and we're pleased to see that she's feeling better and back on TV. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.